Welcome to the Wi-Fi Pineapple tutorial series. In this video, we're going to cover the module Occupineapple, creating your own beacon scavenger hunt. So it's becoming more popular to use beacon scavenger hunts for purposes of marketing, especially at big conferences where you want to draw attention maybe to particular booths that don't get a lot of foot traffic. So if you wanted to create your own beacon scavenger hunt, how could you do it with the Wi-Fi pineapple? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the pineapple and find out. So the first thing we want to do after logging into our pineapple is make sure that we are connected to the internet. Under modules, go ahead and go to OccupyPineapple. Now, You've got the dependencies up here, which of course need to be installed. This is the name of the actual script that will be running behind the scenes, MDK3. Let's go ahead and take a look at our settings. Now we can have our base station be ad hoc if we like. We could also have the beacons that are shown to show as being secure if we like by checking any of these. I'm actually going to leave these off because I want all of the beacons that are shown to be open. Now the next area has an editor. This is where you can either use some of the lists that come with the module out of the box. For example, SSD without Mac list. So this is going to give you a list of various APs that you can broadcast. Or you can also use their SSID with Mac list. Now what I did is I wanted to create my own list. So I start with just a funny list. This is without the Mac addresses. And I actually got this off of um, a website that I found that had a lot of funny names for access points. I also created a funny names with the Mac list as well. And then of course we have the output down here. So I'm going to go ahead and select the funny names with Mac addresses list. I'm going to start that up. You can see that immediately I have a new log that I can watch. And if I refresh my log, you're going to see that I am broadcasting out all of those silly names with their MAC addresses. Now another slant on this game that I thought might be fun is if you actually ran like a Python script like what I have here that would turn the beacons on and off. This Python script would basically start the module and stop the module at command line with the arguments. This is only if, you know, you really want to drive your participants kind of crazy as they get closer to the beacon and they think they're going to get the prize, then all of a sudden it goes dead. So it's really up to you as if you wanted to add this additional layer of fun to, to the game. Now, one other thing, if you're actually the one participating in the game, is you can use this module site survey to actually look at all these beacons. You can also see the quality of strength that you're getting from those broadcasts. Now, the object of the game, of course, is for the participants to actually go to a certain place or go to a certain person. So if you were running this, say, on a nano, once the participant actually finds the correct SSID that is actually corresponding to the pineapple, and they could do that by actually connecting, um, you know, then maybe they could get a prize. So hopefully this has been helpful in showing you how easy it is to, to start your own scavenger hunt for beacons.